half of Goodwood Field. Chilling in the car. So let's set this camera up. I've decided to relegate myself into the passenger seat, which feels awkward and weird. But this car's um, not going to be driving anywhere, so why do I need to be sitting in the driver's seat? Also get a feel for what these, what my passengers feel when I put my foot down in the car. But anyway, welcome to Supercars of London and um, a video blog update that um, I'm really looking, or I was looking forward to doing um, before I got the news yesterday that I wasn't allowed to drive my car. Um, so the car has sat here for the past two days, I think and will continue to do so hopefully today i will find out whether the part is available from audi to be able to fix this problem which we have um, pinpointed that it is the master hydraulic clutch that um, is the problem which we thought was the problem anyway luckily it doesn't need a new clutch but if i continue to drive it and continue to try and change gear when it was cold then it probably would need a new clutch so um, i'm praying i haven't driven it too much over the um over the unhealthy limit and it does need a new clutch so um the next few days is going to be a bit of praying and um we'll be on the phone to Audi and I'll keep giving you guys an update as well. Um, you may have seen as well from the Goodwood video that my car was running with uh, one of the engine lights on. Um, I was again nervous for that but again it was just a sensor uh, to do with the rear lights, the um, electrical, an electrical sensor so it wasn't anything bad. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to uh, catch up with you guys. I know that um, I've been in London, been quite busy filming the supercars in London. We saw the Rembrandt Bugatti Veyron Vitesse. We saw the yellow McLaren P1, which coincidentally are owned by the same person. Um, but also uh, we were lucky enough to get down to Modball for the launch, which included the LaFerrari and Pagani Huayra, which was insane. My first ever LaFerrari. What did you guys think of the video? I just was blown away blown away more about the LaFerrari than I was about the McLaren P1 and the Bugatti Veyron and then um, I spent the Friday afternoon at Goodwood and then spent the whole weekend editing the videos from the convoy but also from the day at Goodwood which was absolutely incredible. Two LaFerraris which I think are near enough my favourite supercar now or favourite hypercar. One or well, the only one, Ferrari F12 TRS, which I have to say is the best sounding Ferrari that I have heard in the last five to 10 years. Absolutely beautiful car uh, with an amazing V12 uh, soundtrack. We saw the Koenigsegg 1.1, which uh, blew me away in terms of its road presence. It's so wide, so low, so mean looking, and that rear spoiler that swoops off from the back um, is uh, seriously, seriously cool. There's so much carbon on it. It's got like carbon fiber wheels and uh, things like that. So an amazing bit of kit and then all round I saw my first LFA as well I've never seen a Lexus LFA driving um, and the, the same Lexus LFA is at all of the UK shows and I just seem to miss it every single time so that was also a fantastic experience for me to hear that V10 um, high pitched F1 tone on the Lexus LFA was also um, quite memorable for me and overall the weekend was incredible and I'm, and I'm definitely definitely going to Goodwood next year. Last Friday was my first time at Goodwood so the festival of speed definitely lived up to its expectations. First things first let's start off with what was going to happen this week or might still happen depending on how quickly we can get this part for the Audi R8. There was a few videos that I wanted to film. I wanted to film that's definitely not an army tricks car. I wanted to film um, an army tricks review because the first time that I reviewed the Audi R8 it was completely stock and the whole idea of the review was to film it completely stock but now that it's got the um, the lowered stance, it's got the 20 inch wheels and it's also got the ridiculously loud army tricks exhaust system and the wrap um, I wanted to do a sort of a post tuning rev uh, review of the car but also of the exhaust system because I think it would be important for you guys to hear the difference between loud and quiet mode um, I could also show you auto mode which I, haven't even, I don't even think I've clicked on auto mode but if you see my little key fob auto button is right there 
but this week I wanted to pack in as much as possible, try and get as many video shoots uh, filmed as possible because the following week, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have um, seen that I'm heading off to Portugal next, uh, this Sunday, um, for a week, which is um, annoying, brilliant for me, but annoying for the fact that it's difficult for me to uh, keep in touch with as many people as possible and continue to film uh, for YouTube. So I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying very hard to get all of this footage packed in this week so that I'm able to um, keep you guys up to date with what's going on whilst I'm on holiday. A really cool video that I want to film is um, I've just been, um, just been delivered my Team Iron Man. Can you see it? my Team Iron Man G-Shock watch. Once I um, heard about Star Remix, oh, what happened to my voice there? It's breaking. <coughs> Hello? That's back to normal now. That was weird. Um, I heard about Star Remix and when they when they sort of came to me and said that they, they build custom watches, I was like, well, we, this was before I had my car wrapped. So um, once it was wrapped, I knew that I wanted to have like a, a watch like this. Oh, look at that. Oh. Proper Iron Man now, look at that. I'm, I'm a kid. I want to have a watch that matched the car just because I thought it'd be really cool and um, Star Remix certainly delivered. I got told by Star Remix that the G-Shock was one of the most durable watches um, in the world. Uh, apparently on the gadget show that it's been driven over by a car. So I wanted to drive over my watch with a car because that's a normal a normal thing to do is when you get a, a new watch, you want to drive over it. But I do because I think it'd be a funny video. <laughs> and if it breaks, <laughs> look at the gearbox working seamless once the car's off. I swear I did this in my last video blog, but when you're in a car like this, you can't not fiddle around and touch things and play around. Oh, I've just turned the media interface on. Wow. How'd you turn it off? Don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to use this thing. Ah. Do I hold this down? Yeah. How useless I am. With the, I don't, maybe, I, maybe this sat nav actually worked really well in the car, but I don't have a clue how to use it, which is why it doesn't work. Here's the plan. Here's the Supercars of London plan. Um, this week, I'm going to be launching the Supercars of London tour, which um, I'm really excited about. Something that I've been in, having in the works for the last month or so. Um, I hope that I can get this video out to you by the end of the week. If it's not by the end of the week, then it will definitely come out next week whilst I'm in Portugal. Um, I'm still going to be around on social media because of thanks to the new EU uh, charges, reducing the charges on um, data roaming and things like that. Thanks guys, I'm able to use my phone abroad now. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be launching the Supercars of London tour. I'm definitely going to be launching the Supercars of London website. I'm definitely going to be launching the Parata della Strada tour, which includes um, filming in Monaco at the end of July which I am ridiculously excited about after seeing so many videos and pictures from Monaco, including the Monaco Grand Prix, including Top Marks, which I went to last year but didn't go to this year. Um, I'm really excited about heading to um, Monaco, which will happen end of July. Oh, that's how I have to do it. Beast, that's so cool. Ooh. Don't know how I get it in my face. Oh, it's coming onto my face. Ah, ah, that hurts. Anyway, so I just wanted to update you, uh, keep you guys up to date, uh, let you guys know that I'm still here. The R8 still here, it just doesn't work. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos over the week of the supercars that are in London at the moment. Um, we've got a lot of cool stuff to come, like I just mentioned in this video. So stay tuned, make sure that you subscribe. I can't believe we've hit 75,000 subscribers. 
Um, I'm on 21,000 uh, 21, followers on Supercars of London Instagram and about 30, 30 followers away from hitting 10k on uh, Wallace PJW Super, uh, Instagram. So um, huge shout out to everyone that's followed me, subscribed um, and continues to share the Supercars of London love, uh, share the Team Iron Man love. Um, so keep doing it, keep doing it. I'm going to keep uh, making uh, these videos. Um, oh, two more things actually. I know that I'm going to get asked where I'm going in Portugal for my holiday. I'm going to Val de Lobo. It's um, a resort in the Algarve amazing place i'll upload some photos on instagram for that the other question will be um well, i'm guessing what will be when is this video of um how i've done uh supercars of london or how i've got to where i am today that video shoot happened last week and um it's probably going to be a week or two to edit i'm not actually editing it this is the guys at uk vibe tv and they take their time they're very meticulous and perfectionist when it comes to editing a video um, and i'm also going to be doing another video after that one, I'm going to be, uh, once that's recorded and edited, I'm going to check it out, hopefully upload it um, to my YouTube channel for you guys to see, and then I will probably um, do my own one, or do one that's um, that sort of is an add-on to the UK Vibe TV one, which I'm really excited about. Um, I need to get some cameraman in, get, some, get, 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 the, get the whole team in, and um, also um, rummage through some old footage and try and find some videos of me filming cars when I was 15 and 16 years old with bright blonde hair. If you followed me right from the beginning on Instagram, you'll see that um, that was how I started. This hair was like, oh, I don't know, you can't really, you can't really turn it into blonde in the sun, but the sun's so bright. So I'm going to go and head inside at SB Race Engineering, try and sort out this part of Ad Audi, give you guys an update, and I will see you guys tomorrow because the daily video blogs are going to be coming back. So thank you guys and um, pray for my car. <laughs>